guys, H4011 here. I got pretty awesome shoes today. Look at those babies. I really like them because um, they kind of look like, I'm really sure, I don't know, I just saw them and they looked extremely cool. And yes, they are women's shoes because I got them in a women's clothing store. They kind of look like guy shoes, but not quite. But uh, I thought they were extremely cool. And at first I thought my mom wouldn't let me buy them because she, for some reason, if she doesn't like the shoes, she kind of makes it known that she doesn't like shoes, like, or it's really much anything. If she wants to buy me some, if I want her to buy me something and she doesn't like it, you know how moms are, they just kind of, you know, they let you know, and then you kind of feel bad for them buying it for you. But uh, she liked these and she bought them for me and they're only, they're only like, uh, or $16, not 60, sorry, 16. They were only $16, so it doesn't really matter. But I had to buy something else today, and this would be what it is. It is a wallet, because, see? It is indeed a wallet, because I need it for my permit. That is right, I have a permit now. I'm actually late in getting my permit, because um, I probably should have gotten it like six months ago, but I missed the deadline the first time, and then we had to go and get like my birth certificate and everything else for me to get my permit because we would moved so much and all those documentation that we needed was lost. But we got everything filled out and I uh, passed the test. Thank God, I thought it was gonna be horrible and I was gonna like just fail it, but fail it, but I actually, uh, you know, passed it because I wouldn't have this right now. Um, but something happened while I was at the DMV, something kind of interesting I wanted to tell you guys about. So when I was sitting there and they were asking me questions like, um, you know, what's your height, uh, what do you consider your hair color, because she was going to say brown, but my mom told her to put red. Uh, she asked me if I wanted to be an organ donor. And I knew that organ donor meant you donate your organs somehow, but I wasn't really clear on it. I thought that if I were to put down no, I didn't want to be an organ donor, then I couldn't donate my organs in the future, and you're probably wondering what are you talking about? Well, my brother, who was only born with like one kidney, if he needed a kidney and if I was a match, I would give him my kidney. But I thought if I wasn't put down as an organ donor, they wouldn't let me do that. So I, I asked the woman, you know, what does that mean specifically? And my uh, mother thought it was funny and decided to be like, oh, Hannah, they're not going to cut you open right now and take your organs out. And then the woman behind the counter was like, oh yeah, just get on the table and we'll cut you open here and now, you know, making fun of my uh, ignorance. But um, I had to explain to her what I meant, and she uh, cleared it up and said, Oh no, organ doning means that if you were to die in the event that you would pass away suddenly, they would to look at your organs, see if they're good, and then harvest them and give them to people that, that need them. And I thought, well, hmm, that's, that's an interesting concept. I was told later that if I were to die when I was older and my organs were still good, they would still give them to people who needed them. Which um, I'm kind of glad. Which I'm kind of glad now that I agree to it. Yes, I am an organ donor now, and the reason why is because when I first thought about it, for some reason a situation popped into my head where there was a small child who needed a heart transplant, and I was a match for this child, and uh, they needed the heart transplant like the second I died. And the two parents were, you know, crying and you know wanted their child to live. And then the people who were investigating my death, for some reason I died when I was young, like in a car crash or something, they were like, oh, too bad she's in an organ donor. Right then the doctor would come out and say, we're sorry, we can't save your child because we don't have any hearts to give her or him, whatever. And uh, I immediately felt horribly bad because I was not an organ donor. I'm not saying that would ever happen, but you know, it's not good to you know, deny a small child your heart if they need it. So I said, yes, I'm an organ donor. And, um, as soon as she, you know, put that in, I felt weird. It almost is like there's a bunch of people in the future that have mandates on my organs. Now, I'm not saying that I regret it, not at all, but it just it feels weird. I mean, you know, like that movie Seven Pounds? It's kind of like that, I guess. But I don't get to meet them. But I was thinking, you know, there isn't a really a reason not to be an organ donor because I mean, when you die, your organs go away anyway. Why not, you know, help somebody else live? I mean, if I die, I go to my father in heaven and then somebody else lives for a day. It's a win-win situation. Why not be an organ donor? But I'm very glad that I decided to do this. I'm also glad I finally got my permit after about six months of, you know, waiting and not getting it as I should have. But, um, yeah, I can start driving.
and uh, you know, who knows, maybe someday you'll have one of my organs.